Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've seen you, but before anything, please hit the subscribe button because I am going to be taking you through a very, very exciting part of Indonesia that you have probably never heard of. So now that you've subscribed, I hope so. Let's talk about it. So before we get started, a quick exercise. When I say Indonesia, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm. Is it lush rice fields, luxury villas, white sand beaches? great food and Bali basically that's what I thought when I came to Indonesia as well let's cover Bali right but then I looked at the map and Indonesia is massive it comprises of over 17,000 islands that is insane right so I decided why not explore something beyond Bali because there's a world beyond Bali in Indonesia that's just waiting to be explored and that is so 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 exciting and that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I am going to be taking you through East Java which is one of the most spectacular places that I've ever been to in my entire life. Did you know that Indonesia has over 150 volcanoes and I decided to hike up two of them. Actually three, but two of them are in this log. And one of the hikes actually had the most toxic and dangerous lake in the entire world. I hope you're excited. So now let's put our planning hats on and let me tell you how you can get to Mount Bromo and Kava Aijin, two most favorite hikes that I've ever, ever, ever done in my entire life. So I decided to dedicate 10 days just to exploring Java and I started all the way in Jakarta, went to Garut, Malang, Banyuwangi. Malang is where this vlog is starting now and I loved it. But I know that not everyone has 10 days and a lot of you are going to be doing these hikes to Mount Bromo and Kava Aijin from Bali. So I'm going to help you first figure out how you can get from Bali to these places and then we're going to get started with the vlog in Malang. So how can you get from Bali all the way to Java? The number one best option and the quickest, fastest, most efficient is taking a flight to Surabaya if you want to do these two hikes. Now the round trip from Bali to Surabaya would cost you around 7,000 Indian rupees or approximately 87 to 90 dollars. And then from Surabaya you take a two hour train bus um, to Malang which is where my vlog is about to start. I came from somewhere else, but you can come from Surabaya. And that bus is pretty cheap too. It just costs 600 rupees or around $7. And then from Malang, you can kind of start moving towards Chimoro Lavang, which is the base of Mount Bromo. Now, before all of this gets too confusing, let me tell you that there are a lot of tours that are running in Bali. You can check apps like Get Your Guide and just generally a lot of tour companies in Bali that are running tours to Mount Bromo and Kava Aijin, like both collectively. Those might be a little expensive, which is why I kind of chose to do it on my own and like DIY it. But I would highly recommend that you can also book a tour because it kind of just takes your stress away. And I also did end up meeting a lot of people while traveling who just took the tour and it was very easy for them because they got picked up in Bali, dropped off in Java, did both the tours, um, had their accommodation stay, everything planned out and then were also dropped back to Bali. So that is a very convenient way to do it. But if you want to do it on your own, you can, like I said, go to Surabaya, then Malang. Now in Malang, you would reach somewhere around sunset. So you can either decide to kind of explore Malang, do the rainbow village, stay there for a night. I stayed in Mador hostel, or you can just leave from Malang and go towards Chimoro Lavang. A uh, taxi from Malang to Chimoro Lavang costs around 100,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is again around $6 or 500 rupees. And then you book a homestay in Chimoro Lavang on booking.com. All of this will be in my vlog to come. But, 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 I would recommend staying in Malang for one night because you are not going to be catching sleep for the next two days uh, because both of them, Mount Romo and Kava Aijin, are both sunrise hikes. They both start at midnight and you watch the sunrise over the volcanoes, which is why I would recommend getting some sleep before them. Another tip before we get into the vlog is please pack warm clothes for this one trip. Uh, you need a thickish jacket because it does get cold on top. You need good walking shoes for sure so definitely you, you just can't do this in like chappals or slippers and um, the last tip would be don't go on a weekend because there's there are huge local groups that come in on weekends and then 
I did it on a weekend and it was really really crowded so I would definitely avoid that but I think beyond that we're mostly done with all the tips and I'm going to shut up start this vlog so that you can see how I kind of went through uh my itinerary in East, East Java I have to say that it was a little bit of a fail because we tried to like I said DIY it and in that process we ended up learning a lot about how not to get scammed how um not to forget to withdraw money from the ATM when you're leaving for a hike and uh, how to just plan things better so obviously we did it all on our own so we ended up making some mistakes along the way but I hope you enjoyed this vlog and more than anything the one thing that I really want you to take away from this is that the world is beautiful and just because something isn't all the time you know it's not in your face on Instagram like Bali doesn't mean that those places aren't worth exploring because this like I said is the most beautiful thing that I've probably ever seen in my entire life the most beautiful landscapes and if there's anything that needs to be on your bucket list it needs to be these two places because they're affordable they're close to India and you can travel there so please 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 go Let's get into the vlog. I hope you're excited. I hope you hit the subscribe button. And if you like this vlog so far, maybe even give it a like. Okay, let's go. Good morning, actually. <laughs> it's currently 4 a.m. And um, I took a train from Jogyakarta and came all the way to Malang because I wanted to do the Broma hike and the Iron Crater hike. And this is kind of the starting village for it. The train was long. It was a seven hour train that starts at around nine o'clock and reaches here at 3 a.m. Got the hostel to open the door, got into my hostel, took a shower, and now I'm so tired. But it was really nice because we ended up meeting a couple of other people on the train who were in fact coming to the same hostel and are also doing the same kind of plan. So I think it'll be super easy to just figure it out with them now tomorrow. And this is the best way. This is why I love traveling solo. It's just so easy to meet people. But first, I need to get some sleep. So, good night. Bye. It's 4 a.m. I'm not thinking clearly. See you tomorrow. So we just got some breakfast and I have to say that Mador Hostel has some of the best breakfast I've had so far. I think my favorite part about it is that it's paratha. Oh my god, I'm so happy to eat paratha again. It's so yummy. And it's pretty cheap as well. So I would definitely recommend staying here for the night in Malang. And maybe even if you want to spend a day in Malang, that would be super easy. And good. direction of taking the car so we got a car over here uh, which costed us 100,000 Indonesian rupiah which is not bad but also as per the cost that was told to us by the hostel which was 35,000 we've definitely gone over budget almost more than double so that is that uh, so yeah so now it's going to take us an hour and a half to reach uh, Chimoro Lavang which is the start point of Bromo we take some rest if it's still daylight maybe go for a hike and then Tomorrow for sunrise we go to Bromo. So that's what's happening right now and oh. the car's pretty comfortable so it's okay. But otherwise I think um, Grab just wasn't working there so I don't think that is an option at all. The other option is either to get a private car or to take the minibus which I think you would have to wait for longer and it also takes two and a half hours to get from uh, Probolingo to Chimoro Lavang so you waste a lot of time. Traffic, which 
let's see let's watch the sunrise and then i'll tell you what i think so we're hiking i mean it's not a hike it's a walk up to another viewpoint i mean we reached the first viewpoint and now we thought it would be a good idea to go a little further so yeah the good part is that it's nice that there's less fog so we can see more okay so we made it to the top of the first viewpoint and there's another viewpoint behind us over there i don't know if you can see it wow i cannot even look at the camera it's so bright but uh, yeah there's a second viewpoint there which you can take a motorbike to go to or you can probably walk it but i don't think we have enough time to walk it because we have only one more hour or actually 40 minutes now to sunrise so it's going to be too hard to walk it and yeah but that's i think the king kong hill viewpoint so i'm not even sure what to suggest i guess just don't come on a weekend <laughs> that's the only thing i can say if you want to go on top or just get a motorbike yeah but i think the sunrise from here is also going to be really nice because we can see that it's not super foggy and it already looks like it's getting brighter so i'm excited now so in our series of fails throughout this trip we also forgot to get a lot of cash with us so we had to make our own breakfast last night quality. high quality breakfast that's some nutella. that's some rejected toast with nutella <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> pretty good the ketchup and toast yeah now the sunrise and then it will be great mm, great this was just a small fail not a very big one hopefully the view is getting better and better with every second it's amazing Like heaven. <laughs> it's so beautiful. There's also a little thing there. I think that is also like a crater of sorts. I don't know. On the side. Okay, so now I'm just sitting here and waiting basically for that everyone in the car to kind of come in. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to that crater there, and that is the Bromo crater. And we're going to see it from top and basically see all the smoke coming out. And this is one of the most active volcanoes in uh, Indonesia. I think it's erupted more than 57 times, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong, but I think I'm not wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but this is just incredible to see how nature just can be so crazy and every time I think, oh my god, this has been the craziest thing I've seen, I see something crazier and I'm just super grateful that I'm able to see all of this and yeah, life is short, see as much as you can. Okay, so we just got dropped off here and we're just we decided that let's just hike up to the crater which is as for Tim if we don't get lost <laughs> Where are these stairs? everywhere why and why do I have to climb them every time it's crazy to imagine that just five minutes back we were on that side looking at the crater from top with the smoke coming out and now we're here and the crater's behind me and that is a cloud of smoke that was forming up over there. I think I have to say that Indonesia that way in terms of natural landscapes has been the best, best place I've been to so far. Things like I've never seen before, like what is this? This is, it is Earth and it's crazy to imagine that we're standing just a little bit above this crater and that is Earth and this is what's happening inside. Just Wow, crazy. A few hours later. Hey guys, so I just got back from Mount Bromo, the crater, and uh, just took a shower, changed, and now I'm just waiting for my taxi to come. Uh, like, so yesterday we got that car and we're taking the same car back, costing us 100,000 Indonesian rupiah again. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna head back in that. Until then, I just thought I'll grab something. And I love this town, it's so nice, it's a hill station. Super cute, reminding me of Himachal. So I just got some stuff from the grocery. I got some tiramisu ice cream, a jelly and some cake. And all of this costed me 11,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is pretty cheap. And also the homestay that I'm staying at, which I forgot to tell you guys about, 
it's said Dulur, pretty good to be honest. We got a very cheap place for like we had three beds. Um, so yeah, that's that. Just got back to Provolingo from uh, Chavara Lavang, and now Chimara Lavang. Sorry, could be messing it up again. Uh, but from here now, I'm going to go to Banyuwangi, which is where I'm going to do the Aijin Crater trek, and I'm too excited. That's at night though. So uh, we just got a bus, which is one twenty-five thousand Indonesian rupiah for one person. And the bus leaves in about an hour. I got myself a minute maid. By the way, if someone here does not like sweet stuff, you're going to really struggle because everything here is so sweet. Oh my god! So this is average, like not too sweet. So I got this for five thousand. I feel sweet again because we were just sitting close to the bus station. <laughs> now on the way to Banyuwangi. This is our Banyuwangi and now so we cleared out everything at our hostel which was great because the bus dropped us literally in front of the hostel we were translating with them in the bus and I was just like please stop here stop here stop here we need to get off and then they finally dropped us right in front of the hostel which is very convenient because there's restaurants all around and the hostel is there so now we've just come to eat dinner where uh, Tim has taught me that Ouch in German is Aua. <laughs> Say it. Aua. Aua. Which I, it's just it's so weird because I thought like everyone feels pain the same in the same language like ouch or au but they're like Aua. <laughs> but yeah, now we're just waiting for our dinner and then we have it's 9 p.m. and we have to wake up again at 12 a.m. and then be up for nine and a half hours before we take our ferry to Bali and then a taxi to Bali. <laughs> Which one is spicy? This one's spicy. spicy. Okay. I'm not spicy. Thank you. You're not spicy? No. Yeah, he's not spicy. I'm spicy. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Good morning. Uh, wow. It is not even morning. It's night. It's 2 a.m. And um, I slept for a total of two and a half hours in the hostel. And then after that, we took a car. I mean, this time we booked uh, an Aijin tour from our hostel itself, which was called Aijin Backpacker Hostel, which has been great so far. Super helpful people. And uh, yeah, so we booked our tour from there. It was for 350,000 Indonesian rupiah. It's pretty cool. And I'm very excited to see the Aijin crater because basically what you end up seeing is sulfur smoke like blue which is blue and also the beautiful crater lake so let's go got it em. so we're now down on our way to see the blue flame but he says that it might not be possible because it was raining today so there is a possibility we might not see it but we have our masks we have our lamps that is the way down. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to take as many. I don't think I can take that many videos because it's hard to walk and take the video, but very cool. The sky is beautiful. It's super clear. We could see shooting stars and it was so nice. What even is this? Okay, just this is our planet. This is our planet. I am between a mountain of clouds, a sulfur lake, and an orange sky. Oh my god, look at that. With the sun coming up, that is the sulfur lake. Oh.